Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some really fun, chic Abercrombie finds for you all. So I'm so excited to jump right in. As always, you can find everything that I'm gonna to share today linked down in the description box in the order that it appears. You'll also see a little link pop up over the overlaid over the video in this corner um, for the Abercrombie items specifically. So when you see that, you can just click it and it will let you shop directly in the video now, which is such a cool new YouTube feature. This first dress I've had for quite a while and it's, and I think it is so adorable on. When I first saw this on the model, I was a little skeptical, but I decided to try it anyway because it's something different that I don't really have in my wardrobe. And I'm always looking for cute casual dresses to wear during the summer months because to me, I am the most comfortable in the hotter temperatures wearing skirts or dresses. That's just what I tend to gravitate towards. So I thought this could be a really great thing to wear for just like every day. And then maybe I could dress it up if I wanted to. And y'all, when I put this on, I was so shocked at how much I really love this dress. Like it is so comfortable on. I think it looks super cute. And I actually wore this in a recent video that is kind of going viral a little bit right now, at least viral for my channel. So if you're a new subscriber to my channel because of that video. Hi, I'm so glad you came back and checked out another video. A lot of people asked where I got my shirt from and the fact is it's a dress, not a shirt, which is super fun. But I love that it kind of has the sort of trend of like the cargo look with this little cargo pocket that is on the side of the skirt. Um, I also feel like gray is a big color trend lately. So it sort of touches into that. But overall, it's a really adorable casual dress. I'm wearing a size small. Um, and I do think it runs true to size. The fabric has quite a bit of stretch to it. So that sort of adds to the comfort level of it. And I also love that it has this little like flap feature that kind of crosses over because it has this little built in belt that you can cinch to your own waist to sort of pull you in to give that sort of flattering uh, look to show your waistline, which I personally always appreciate because being an hourglass shaped person, I tend to feel like if I'm not able to like define my waist in some way in my outfit, I end up feeling really frumpy. And so that's what I really appreciate about this. It's also got some elastic built into the back part of the waistband to sort like further give it a really comfortable feeling. And I just think this is super cute. I wore this with sneakers and a trench coat to an event the other day. So I recreated the look here because I thought it was just such a fun, sporty, casual look that I could wear all throughout the spring. And then of course, as it gets warmer, lose the trench coat, maybe lose the sneakers and put it on with some sandals instead. And even maybe throw on some fun heeled sandals if I wanted to wear it out to dinner, to like a more casual dinner, it would totally work for that as well. By the way, I just have to shout out these sneakers that I'm wearing in this outfit. They are from one of my favorite shoe brands, Dolce Vita, and these are the Notice style. And I love these because they give that sort of Adidas Samba like vibe, but these are always selling out everywhere. And I know people are having a hard time getting their hands on them. So this is such a great alternative to the Samba. I know that these are just slightly more expensive than the Sambas. I believe these retail for 150. The Sambas typically will run you 100, but if you can't find them, then you know, you gotta find an alternative. But what I really like about these in like as an alternative to the Adidas Samba, cause don't get me wrong, I love those, but you can see they have that same retro, like low profile, sneaker look to them. They both have the sort of tan gum sole and then they both have a very similar toe cap sort of design. Yeah, just very similar overall, except for the fact that obviously Adidas has those three uh, like iconic stripes that they have. And then this has more of just like um, a swooshy accent, but yeah, a little bit different on the back, but still very, very similar shoe. What I will say is I love these so much, don't get me wrong, but I started wearing these because I got these more recently. I took these on a trip with me to San Francisco and wore them all around town. And these are a lot more comfortable to wear for long periods of time. The Adidas Sambas are comfortable also, but I find that they almost feel like there's very little padding in them. And so for me, that doesn't bother me so much because I don't really have a whole lot of problems um, if my shoes aren't very supportive and I have pretty flat feet. So I tend to not be bothered by unsupportive flat shoes, but these have so much more cushion in them, which I notice such a huge difference when I'm wearing these. They are just a lot more comfortable, a lot more cushy, and a lot more supportive. So maybe if you love the Adidas Samba, but you can't find it anywhere, this would be a great alternative. So I will link these down in the description box. They should also be linked right here too, because Dolce Vita is one of the brands partnered with YouTube Shopping, but I I'm obsessed with these. And I think they are such a good 
chic sneaker that wear these with the last outfit you can wear them with sundresses you can wear them with jeans uh, with shorts they really are a very versatile sneaker because they are kind of a low profile they're very simple um so i think this style of sneaker is one that you can just get so much use out of okay, this dress is such a good abercrombie find i am so obsessed with it i think it is such a beautiful sundress for summer i got the blue and white striped version which i believe is quickly selling out but they also have it in a version which is like a cream background with green floral print and then they have a solid black version too which i think there are more sizes still available that's the thing with abercrombie it's getting to a point where like if you see something that you really like you can't sleep on it you have to just go ahead and get it because if it's that good that you love it other people love it too and they're buying it and things just seem to sell out really quick on Abercrombie these days. So just a little word of advice. If you see anything in this video that you like, just go for it. Please don't sleep on it because it will be gone. No joke. But I think this is such a beautiful like feminine and flattering dress. I got this to wear when we went wine tasting in Napa last weekend. We just got back from my first ever Napa trip. So you can expect that vlog coming up on the channel sometime soon. But I thought this was such a perfect dress to wear because when you go wine, ta wine tasting in Napa, the vibe is definitely a bit more upscale. You want to dress nice. You want to dress a little bit more dressed up. You don't have to be super dressy, but I saw a lot of girls out at tasting rooms when we were out and about in Napa and they all had like nice either sundresses on or just more elegant outfits. So just a little word of advice, but I feel like this would also be a beautiful dress for like a wedding guest situation or just any sort of summer occasion where you wanna be a little bit more dressed up and perhaps it's a daytime event. Because of the fact of the fabric, it does feel a little bit more casual-ish because it is cotton. The other thing I love about this is it has pockets, which this is my very strong opinion that if a dress is A-line, if it's already got some fabric going on in the skirt, the skirt has some volume to it and it's flowing away from your body, there is absolutely no excuse for that dress to not have pockets in it because having pockets in a skirt like this is not going to add bulk to your hips. It's not gonna add like weird fabric to the dress because it blends in so well with the shape of what's already happening. So love that they put pockets in this. Makes it so much easier to just slip your phone in there when you're like at an event and you want to be hands-free, slip your phone in there, do whatever you got to do, then you can easily access your phone or whatever else that you need. I also just love this like ruffle detail in the off the shoulder. It's so pretty. The arm things have quite a bit of elastic stretch to them, so I don't feel restrained at all in this. And what I like about this, even though it's strapless and off the shoulder, is it feels like it stays up really well. I'm wearing a small, and this dress definitely runs true to size. The back of the bodice definitely has some um, ruching, so there's some stretch back there, not a ton, but enough to make it a bit more comfortable and especially great if you have a larger chest like me to sort of allow for a little bit more breathing room for you. But please note that the waist has no stretch at all. So make sure you read the size chart to get the right size for you because there is no give in the waist. I also love that it's got like a little bit of a leg slit so you can see a little peak of a leg. I think that is really nice and flattering and it's not too crazy high. It's a, just a nice little touch to sort of give it a little hint of sexiness to something that's otherwise a very sweet, and feminine sort of silhouette. By the way, hi, if you're new here, I just wanna introduce myself really fast. My name is Jessica. I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if you love to uh, live your most chic and fabulous life without breaking the bank, then you definitely want to hit that red subscribe button. And you may as well ding the bell. That will just send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Typically that's twice a week. And then if you've been around for a while and you want more of my content, you can find me on all the social media platforms, but mostly on Instagram and TikTok talk where I am Miss More Style as well. So I will link all of that down in the description box for you all if you want to find me on your other favorite platform and say hi. I love it when you guys come over and find me elsewhere. Okay, shameless plug over, back to the video. Before we move on, I have to shout out the pair of shoes that I was wearing with that previous outfit. These are also from Dolce Vita. Obviously, I'm a huge fan, um, but I think these are so adorable, so perfect for spring and summer, and I just think they're so unique. So I got this in like the light blue colorway, but they also have it in sort of like a beige color if you wanted something a little bit more neutral that will go with more things. But how adorable are these like denim eyelet platform sandals? I mean... The eyelet on the denim wraps around the heel completely. It's so, so cute. And I just think these have such a fun, like funky 70s vibe. And I know a lot of you all who comment and you say that you can't do heels because your feet hurt. I have foot problems as well. And I try not to do crazy heels 
like all the time unless it's like a special occasion and I really want to like go all out with my fit but these are great because they give you the height but if you can see because it's such a big platform right here the pitch of them or the angle is not that crazy so it almost just feels like you're wearing a low block heel even though in reality you're wearing a pretty high heel but this platform kind of helps to alleviate the pressure on your foot which is really great so I love these. I think they are so, so cute. They're linked right over here. They're also linked down in the description box if you want to check them out. But these are just, I think, going to be my favorite shoes for the next, for spring and summer because I just love how unique and funky that they are. So this next pair of jeans has to be my absolute favorite new pair of jeans. And ever since I put them on, I have been living in them. So these are the, and look at the tag before I put them on. Hold, please. They're the 90s straight ultra high rise and I got them in the curve love version. So if you're not aware, Abercrombie I think is just killing it in the denim and in general pants department when it comes to being inclusive of different sizes, heights, and body types. So with their denim, not only do they have like petite, regular, and long inseams, but you can also find every single one of their denim styles in a regular version and also a curve love version. And the curve love version just has a little bit of extra room throughout the hips. And then it comes in, I think, a little bit more in the waist. Like the hip to waist ratio is slightly different than the normal cut of their jeans. And for me, being a person who's more hourglassy, having hips, this has been an absolute game changer for me and I just love the fit of curve love jeans and if you are a curvier person like me then you're probably going to want to check this out because I, I just think Abercrombie is my new denim go-to because I just know with their curve love they're going to fit me so well. Now with this style in particular I love that they're straight leg but they're not too wide leg. I am sort of dappling in the wide leg denim trend um, and I don't love it for every single outfit but I am kind of trying it out. I have found for me the type of denim that I feel like looks best on my body is a high-waisted straight leg jean and these just fit that bill perfectly. They have just a slight bit of stretch to them so that they are comfortable but they're not so stretchy that they look bad. In my opinion denim that has too much elastic in it just ends up like once you've worn it for a couple hours it gets stretched out and it looks <clears throat> not cute. This has a higher uh, percentage of cotton to very little elastic ratio and I think that is the perfect combination to where it still looks good but it has slight comfortability. Personally for me I, I almost like my jeans to have absolutely zero elastic in them. I want them to have a no stretch because I think those look the best but they're not always the most comfortable. So this is a great jean to have if you sort of like that look too but you, you want to be able to breathe after you eat a burrito or something. They make my booty look so freaking good. I don't know what it is about the design of these jeans. I have so many pairs of Abercrombie jeans. None of them make my booty look like this. So I don't know. Even my husband said something. So you know that they're doing their job. Now I got these originally in the long inseam because this particular color, the medium wash that I wanted, they were sold out at the time in regular, which regular is normally what I go for in inseam length at Abercrombie. I'm 5'7", so I'm kind of like right under that cusp where they recommend if you're 5'8 and above, you do the long. So I went ahead and did long because the hem of these jeans was a rough hem anyway. And so I figured if they were too long, I could just snip them myself. They were too long. I did my own little DIY snip snip and now they're the perfect length. So little uh, trick, if you find a pair that you love, but they don't have them in regular and you think they're going to be too long, you can always just cut them at the hem and they can have that raw hem edge look, which I think is really fun. Um, or you can just take them to a, a tailor and have them tailored, which you know, is a small price to pay for when you find a pair of jeans that fit you absolutely perfectly like these do for me personally. So you can say I'm a fan. I love these jeans. These next two pieces I think are such fun little classic pieces that can be mixed and matched with each other and worn uh, separately. So the first up is this beautiful polka dot blouse. And if you did catch my dated trends that are back in style, then you know that polka dots is definitely one of my favorite out of style trends that are making a comeback. Now I know polka dots are definitely a very classic print. They're really never out of style, but when I say that they're dated and they're back, they have been sort of out of the more fashion uh, world's conversation in the last several years. And now they're sort of entering back into that. So I saw this and it reminded me immediately of the 
Julia Roberts' pretty woman polka dot dress that she wears at the polo match because it has that same brown sort of tone with like the cream polka dots that I remember. And so it just sort of evoked that for me and I was immediately drawn to it because of that. I'm still on the hunt for a great dupe for that dress. And one of you have said that your mom had one and you offered to sell it to me. So if you're out there watching this video, seriously, let's talk. Um, but I love this top because it's kind of like a nice little sheer, semi-sheer blouse. It's got this really nice like draping that's sewn into it on this side that sort of adds like a visual interest to it. And it is sheer, but it's not super sheer. However, it does come with a solid black, or sorry, a solid brown uh, spaghetti strap tank top to wear underneath it so that, you know, it's not like you're seeing your bra straight through, which in some lightings, I feel like I don't need the tank top, but then in other lighting, I look at myself and I'm like, holy crap, you can see exactly what kind of bra I'm wearing. So really up to you how you want to wear it, but I love this. I think it's just a really chic blouse. You can wear it with work wear, you can wear it with more casual outfits. So it's very versatile like that. And I do believe that there is a matching skirt that you can buy for this. It was out of stock last time I checked. Hopefully they restock it though. I'll try to link that down below as well if you're interested in the matching set. Moving on to the pants, these are the Sloan tailored pant. I have several pairs of this pant at this point in multiple colors. I am such a huge fan of the Sloan slacks from Abercrombie because again, like the jeans, they come in regular and also a curve love version. And I just find these to be such a great affordable, uh, very classy style of slacks that you can wear casually or you can dress it up for work or for more formal, elegant occasions. They truly are such a great pair of pants and they come in so many different colors that you can really, like if you love wearing slacks, then you can really build out your slacks wardrobe, especially when Abercrombie has sales at such a great price. Now, like the, sh the jeans, they do come in different inseam lengths, and I thought that I had a working theory about Abercrombie. My little rule of thumb used to be that I would always get regular length in jeans because I found that the jeans in regular always hit me at the right place, but then I would get long in the slacks because if I got regular, they just hit at a, a point that was like kind of awkwardly too high, and I didn't like that. So when I got my pink pair from my previous Abercrombie haul, I got them in long, and they were the perfect length, so I decided to try these in long and they were long. I could have kept them that way if I was planning on wearing them always and only with like really tall heels or platforms, but I wanted to be able to have the versatility to wear these with like flats or sneakers or lower heels, and I already have a very similar pair and a very similar color of slacks that are long that I know that I can wear with heels. So now, maybe it's a little bit silly, but I have a pair of like cream slacks that are longer for my heel outfits, and these I had to get tailored for my more short, for my more flat shoe outfits. And with a pair of white or cream pants, you kind of do have to do that because if they drag on the ground, they're gonna get dirty and ruined so easily. So I think it's important if you love wearing like cream slacks to have a length that works for both if you're somebody who likes to change up your shoe height. They didn't take up too much length. I still wanted a little bit of length so that they puddle a little bit when I'm wearing sneakers. You can kind of see that in action in the clip of the lower parts of the pants. And I can also get away with wearing these with like lower heels. I wore these in wine country to my friend Elise's baby shower with this pair of uh, little Western booties. And the heel on these is not too high. So I know now in the future when I wear these, I can wear them with a lower block heel or with sneakers, they work perfectly. Such a great pair of pants. They have a little bit of pleating on the front and they're nice and wide leg throughout the leg. Even for me, someone who has a hard time finding true wide leg pants that don't like fit too tight on my bum and my hips. These really fit exactly like they're supposed to and I love them. If you want to check out my sort of viral video about dated fashion trends that are back in style, I'm going to put that right here so you can check that out next. Along with polka dots, there's quite a few interesting things that are coming back and maybe you already have these things in your closet from the past and you can figure out how to rework them and modernize them for 2024. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining or informative in any way. I'll see you guys over here and if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!